thanks for coming out today. Maybe we can ask you your name, where you're from, and kind of what your service offerings are. Yeah, very good. I'm Andrew Williams. I'm an investment banker, uh, M&A advisor for Charter Capital Partners. We're a Grand Rapids-based uh, M&A advisory firm, investment banking firm. Uh, I cover uh, Indianapolis and North for us. Um, deals take me farther south in Indiana sometimes, but generally that's my home trip. Excellent. Well, we're seeing, you know, just in terms of trends in private equity, one of the things we're seeing is uh, longer holding periods by the private equity fund. And I'm interested in your views on how that impacts private equity, how that impacts valuation, how that may impact capital rates. So the typical client for me is a privately held founder, kind of think salt of the earth, Midwestern entrepreneurs mm -hmm. that will do one or maybe two transactions in their in their whole life. Yep. And maybe historically, some of them are a little averse to the idea of selling, only to have to see their company flipped again in a short mm -hmm. hold period. Mm -hmm. So they're a lot more receptive to firms that have a little bit longer runway. Mm -hmm. and, and, um, with a, that owner has a good feeling about what's going to happen to their employees mm -hmm. in the next three to five years, and they want to have minimum uh, disruption. Mm -hmm. you know, a lot of those folks maybe you know just enough about private equity uh, buyouts to mm -hmm. be uh, dangerous, mm -hmm. I would say. Mm -hmm. Interesting, yeah. I, had, I literally had a client uh, in Northern Indiana tell me he'd seen the movie Pretty Woman, mm -hmm. and he knows how private equity uh -huh. firms out there. Uh -huh. So I had to explain to him that wasn't necessarily uh, the case and it's not the way private equity today works and it's really about growth. So that's a great point on receptivity. What, what are the maybe apprehensions that a business owner has when it's time to bring on private equity uh, but they're just hesitant about doing so? I had a client say my name's been on this building for 30 years and I don't want that to go away and I don't want my employees to lose their job. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot for me when you're dealing with entrepreneurs who are going to do one or two deals in their whole life. Yeah. There's a lot of education about what are the objectives of the different firms, mm -hmm. what are the personalities of the different firms that we'll bring in, mm -hmm. um, and why might they be a better fit for one or another on a potential buyer list. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, there's definitely a growing receptivity as Entrepreneurs get um, gain a better understanding and a better comfort level of the way private equity firms work and how their interests can be aligned with those PE groups going mm -hmm. forward. Yeah, interesting. So, so on the uh, on the sell side, what are you seeing in terms of sale readiness, Q of B, valuation? Uh, sale readiness remains a big issue for the size of clients that we deal with. Mm -hmm. um, we've been well, we partnered with Plant Moran on several deals in the past year where a plant brand did the Q of E work for those clients. Uh, we are requiring our clients to do that sell side diligence before we go to market. It just makes life a lot easier after you get into the diligence phase yeah. and you don't have to worry about retrading um, mm -hmm. because of those numbers uh, that have been put together in the Q of E. Mm -hmm. uh, people continue to underestimate, unless they've been through it before, it's hard to really understand what they're in store for. So they do tend to underestimate what they're in for. So that Q of E work is really helpful in kind of getting the ball rolling on what due diligence and um, uh, sell-side readiness as well. Yeah. Well, we often say uh, Q of E is uh, sell-side with friendly with friendly people on your side of the table, so it's a good thing. Yeah, that's well said. And for us, the brand screen of Plant Moran is helpful given that we are talking to buyers all over the U.S. and sometimes in Canada. And no matter how, how strong of a job the local CPA may do, uh, it's always great to have the brand power of the Plant Moran on um, the QA. Excellent. Well, thanks for saying that, Andrew. Thanks for coming out today. We appreciate your comments. Yeah, thanks so much.